A new affordable housing bill making its way through the state legislature is expected to make a difference for many Floridians, but the bill does have some pushback. Our Steve King joining us live in Martin County, where commissioners say the Live Local Act will interfere with their local government's own zoning and planning goals. Steve? Tiffany, will some commissioners here in Martin County held a news conference along with the mayor of Stewart here at the Martin County Administrative Building, where they said that the new Live Local Act undermines home rule, especially for the least populated counties in the state. Now, Commissioner Ed Campy says that among the problems are it could prevent local governments from imposing height restrictions on buildings and it could cost tax revenue. He says they're in favor of affordable housing, but they think that this new bill doesn't provide enough local control. Now, do we want to participate in housing options? Of course we do. But do we need them to be very specific to what the legislature might say is the best strategy for us? I think that goes to the definition of us losing home rule. But actually, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are approving this Live Local Act. At least it was unanimously approved in the Florida Senate before it makes its way over to the state house. The Live Local Act has several components, many of which state lawmakers are in agreement will help Floridians moving forward. The new bill, if approved by the state legislature, will, among other things, make more people eligible for the Hometown Heroes Loan Program, add about $700 million to existing affordable housing programs, and create tax incentives for developers building affordable housing. In essence, we're, we're trying to take some of the most aggressive uh, and bold affordable housing initiatives uh, that, that we've ever seen here in the state of Florida. Uh, and so that's where uh, that work is beginning right now. Something like a thousand people are moving here a day and we have to have housing for them and we have to have housing for the people, the workers in order for our economy to flourish. And so this is a really big first step. The president elect of Broward Palm Beaches and St. Lucie Realtors agrees. We really uh, love the bill and we, uh, we advocate for that bill because um, Affordable housing is, is, is important in, the, in Florida. But some Democratic lawmakers were hoping to see one part of the bill removed, which prohibits local governments from imposing rent caps. Currently, voters can approve a year-long rent cap if a housing emergency is declared. The Live Local Act gets rid of that possibility. When I voted for the bill, I, I mentioned it and I said, I'm not going to let perfect be the enemy of good. So I supported the bill, but I am disappointed. Now, if the Live Local Act is approved, it becomes law on July 1st. Reporting live in Stewart, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.